Hey everybody, this is day 21, 22? I've actually lost track. Uh, this is day 20 something of my AMA video series in support of my 40th birthday fundraiser for the Norwegian Refugee Council. If you have a question you want me to answer in one of these videos, you still have time. There's about nine days left until October 17th. So if you have a question, put it into the URL that you see on the screen right now. Uh, just fill in the form and send me a question and it might get answered in one of these videos. Now for today's question, <coughs> it comes from Hasim. It says, I have watched some of your courses on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning. I really love your presentation. Being an ESL student, so English as second language, just like me, um, I always admire the way you speak English and your language. Um, my question is, how do you speak written language so fluently looking at the camera for a long time? Are you looking at a script or anything like news readers or TV do? That's a great question. Um, now, when you, if you watch any of my courses on LinkedIn Learning, and you should because they're awesome, um, then you will see that they usually split into two sections. You have a screen cap, which is just, you see my screen on my computer and I'm doing coding work or design work or something else, or you're seeing me on camera talking like I'm doing right now. Um, and in the cases where I record screen cap, I'm just talking. I, I'm, I sometimes have a script, but rarely have a full script. And I'm usually just talking through what I'm doing. I do a lot of prep beforehand, but it's relatively ad-libbed. Um, when I'm on camera, I always use a teleprompter. Um, that's because we have limited time to like, you know, when you do an on-camera thing, everything needs to be really on point and very factual and very da -da 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 -da, and all has to be covered. And it's tricky to do a lot of cutting once it's on camera. So it's better to have it on teleprompter so that I can write my scripts in advance and then read out exactly what I'm going to say. Now, if you watch some of my previous movies, I've mentioned that I have dyslexia, which makes it really hard for me to read in general. Uh, teleprompters are not great for people with dyslexia. So as a result, my teleprompter has very, very large font. Um, and I have sometimes a really hard time following what it, what it says. Um, so what I do is when I write my scripts, I write them out exactly as I would say them. So I write a script and then I read it out loud to myself to try to figure out exactly how I would say it if I wasn't reading a script. So if I lose track of the script on the teleprompter, the next thing I'm going to say is the logical next thing I would say if I didn't have a script. That's a skill that I've had to practice on for many years. And it's only now in the last year or so that I've really nailed it down to the point where what is on the teleprompter is what I'm going to say, even if I'm not reading the teleprompter. So it's just a practice thing. And if you t talk to people who work in TV, they'll tell you the same thing. After a while, they get so used to how they talk on camera that they don't really need the teleprompter and it's more there just for reference. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's cheating. Teleprompter all the way because that's the only way to get structure. Otherwise, you get these messy videos like what you're seeing right now where I'm doing like, uh, and looking everywhere and being all confused all the time. <coughs> all right. Um, like I said, the AMA video series is not done yet, but it will be done soon. So if you have a burning question you want me to answer in one of these videos, go to the URL on your screen right now, morton.com slash morton is an old, fill in the form and send me that question and it may end up in one of these videos. If you want to um, take part in the 40th birthday fundraiser I'm doing for the Norwegian Refugee Council, that would be my 40th birthday, and I'm fundraising for the Norwegian Refugee Council to help refugees and displaced people all over the world, then you can also do that through the same URL. Just click on the donate to the NRC button, donate, and you'll help refugees and displaced people all over the world. All right, I will see you tomorrow.